On the right side of the steering wheel there is a voice control button. So if you press once you can use voice commands, for example, telephone. But what will happen if instead of press once you press and hold? Stay tuned. The features I'm about to show you. You can find in most Mercedes-Benz vehicles over the past 10 years. Today I'm going to show you the second part of this video, but don't tell anybody. Feature number 8 – Dual Voice Control 79% of people did not know about. So if we press voice control button once, we can use command, for example... Telephone. Or maybe... Navigation. Or let's say radio. Now if I press and hold, I can talk to my cell phone instead of talking to a car. Call Aaron Beckingham. Now my phone will be answering, not my car. Call Aaron Beckingham, sure. Work or mobile work. Since I can talk to my cell phone now from my car, I can ask Google any question. And my phone will answer using car speakers. When is the next Kings game? The season has ended, but the Kings will open next season with a game against the Sharks on October 5th at 7.30 pm. This will work as long as your phone is connected via Bluetooth. Feature number 7 – Serious weather. 80% of people did not know about it. Let's move our mouse forward to highlight the top taskbar. If you look on the top there is a taskbar and you see the telephone. So we have to move to a telephone. Let's scroll it. Now we have a phone. Now we need to scroll out of the phone menu. And we'll go into serious weather. And let's hit enter. And you can see weather. This is for Los Angeles Metro. You can see for three hours. You can change for five days. As you can see in LA, this feature is useless because the sun is shining all the time. Cause the sun is shining all the time. Looks like another perfect day. I love LA. You can also change the position. For example, ski area search for different areas. You can do presets. Or you can just go to the map and you can zoom in anywhere in the world you like and you will know the weather instantly feature number six trunk deadlock 81 percent of people did not know in order to get inside the trunk you have to either open it or you have to fold rear seats 
and to release rear seats you can only from inside the trunk you cannot release seats from inside the car you have to open the trunk and then you can release left side and you can also release the right side and then you can fold rear seats but what if you go to a car wash or for example if you want to give your car to someone to drive but want to block access to a trunk how would you accomplish that it's actually very simple let's open the glove compartment on the, on the right front passenger side and let's look inside if you look on the top left side of the inside of this compartment you will see lock and lock for the trunk so let's lock it now your trunk is locked so inside your key there is a valet key it's built right in so you take your valet key out that's how you take it out and once you lock you can actually keep it to yourself so you can give the kit to anybody to drive your car but valet key always keep with you don't give it to anybody now our trunk is dead locked right now but anybody can unlock it so we're gonna use valet key to lock glove compartment so nobody can open glove compartment right now and obviously nobody get can get to a trunk right now because it's locked inside the glove compartment and you cannot fold rear seats the only way to fold them is from inside the trunk which is locked anyone can drive your car now but the trunk is inaccessible feature number five navigation dialogue trick 82% of people did not know. You can confuse navigation by giving it too much information. Let me show you an example. Enter destination. The address, please. 21755 Ventura Boulevard, Woodland Hills, California, 91635. Sixth Street, Refon, House Number Five Hyphen One Four One Two One Nine One. Unavailable. Do you want to select another house number, or do you want to start route guidance? Cancel. As you can see, I gave full address to navigation, and it was overwhelming to digest. It just messed up everything. So the trick is. To give as little information as possible and make navigation curious enough to clarify your questions by ways of talking back to you that's how you reverse who's asking and who's answering question instead of giving a full address i'm just going to provide only zip code enter zip code the zip code in single digits please nine one six zero four the line number, please. One. Entry accepted. Do you want to enter a street? Yes. Same town? Yes. Please say a California street name. Laurel Canyon Boulevard. The line number, please. One. Number one accepted. Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Do you want to enter a house number? Yes. The house number, please. I'll try missing number. 5522. Two. House number 5522. Unavailable. Do you want to select another house number? Or do you want to start route guidance? Here's something different. Enter intersection. The intersecting street, please. 
Ventura Boulevard. Ventura Boulevard. Accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. So instead of giving lots of information, always just give little bits of info. This will be easier for navigation to digest. Cancel guidance. Are you sure you want to cancel route guidance? Yes. Canceling route guidance. Feature number four. Emergency unlock and start. Only 16% of people knew. What will happen if the battery inside your smart key dies? You will not be able to open your car and you're not going to be able to start it. The good thing, there is a way to open the door and start your car. Even if your key has a dead battery, you don't have to call anyone, you can do it yourself. First you have to release the valet key. So if your key is dead, obviously you're not going to be able to open the door. I don't know who came up with this really bright idea, but right now this, this little plastic bad boy is the only obstacle standing in between you and actually getting inside the car. Some models you don't need to remove anything, but some models like this one, you do. Once you remove this plastic cap, you can manually unlock the door and it will actually set off alarm. Then you are not going to be able to start the car, because your car will not recognize your smart key, since it has that battery. Therefore, you gotta remove the push start button and just start your car manually. You can start your car manually even if your smart key has dead battery. You can still start the car. And once you get home, make sure to replace your uh, battery in your smart key. We have separate video, the link is below. Feature number three, dual and extendable sun visor, only 15% new. I was really surprised, based on our survey, that a lot of people, so many people did not know they have dual sun visor. This feature is actually optional, so not everybody have it. But uh, let's take a look. So if you open sun visor, it blocks a lot of sun from the front. But right now we have a lot of sun on the, on the left side. So let's open it. Right now I covered a little bit, but still lots of sunshine. So if your car is equipped with dual sun visor, there is a second one right here. So now you close front and on the side. Now it looks much better, but still I have a lot of sunlight coming on the left. So if you look on this side uh, sun visor, let's close up. You see there is an extendable in a hitch inside, so you can move it in and out. And you can extend as much as you want. You can extend as much as, as you need to cover, basically, the sunshine. Now it looks much better. And let's close it up. Feature number two, points of interest, not whole lot of people knew. Here I just want to show you how to ask to go to the points of interest instead of giving a full address. 
nearest gas station. The line number, please. Two. Number two accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Cancel route guidance. Are you sure you want to cancel route guidance? Yes. Canceling route guidance. Nearest ATM. The line number, please. Number five. Number five accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? No. Cancel. Nearest coffee shop. The line number, please. Number six. Number six accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? No. Cancel. You can also find the place by name. Points of interest by name. Free POI search in California. Please say a search term. Yoshinoya. The line number, please. Wow, there is lots of them. One. Number one accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. The route is being calculated. Prepare to turn right. Number one feature in the world, adaptive voice control. You have to watch it to the end. A lot of people have different accent, different pronunciation, different intonation. So many times you hear this. I could not understand that. Just watch this guy from New York trying to teach English guy how to speak with New York accent. Hey, forget about it. Hey, forget about it. I could not understand that. Forget about it. Forget no us. Forget about it. I could not understand that. And I'll change the T's to D's. Hey, forget about it. It? Would you said change the T's to the D's for Not Christ's sake? Not the last one. Sometimes I get things wrong, but I'm still learning. Try this one here. Um, get the hell out of here. No odds. Get the hell out of here. I could not understand that. Not he. 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 <sighs> so, to make sure you don't get frustrated with your car, you can actually teach your car the way you speak. You go to settings, then we'll go to lower taskbar, and then we'll go to system settings, and hit enter. Now here, you have an additional menu. You can actually change language right here, if you speak different language. For example, there is German, English, Spanish, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, uh, I think uh, Japanese. Or you can also change text reader speed. So if you're fast talker, you can go to fast or medium or slow. But right now we're going to go to voice control. And it says on the bottom, it says start new individualization. Would you like more information about individualization before starting? Yes. The purpose of individualization is to adapt voice control even better to your voice. To do so...
system, etc. What do you want to individualize? Digits or commands? Digits. Individualization will now be carried out for digits. You will now hear 15 number sequences one after the other. Please repeat each number sequence as a complete sequence after the beep. 0791 0791 3994 3994 7826 the individualization of digits has been completed successfully. The data has been saved. Do you want to start the second part to individualize commands? Yes. Individualization will now be carried out for voice commands. You will now hear 25 commands one after the other. Please repeat each command after the beep. Read out contacts. Read out contacts. Delete address book. Delete address book. Nearest gas station. Nearest gas station. Individualization has been completed successfully. The data has been saved. You can always turn individualization on and off by checking or checking the checkmark box. Here is the question. How many features out of 8 did you already know about? Or what features should I demo in my upcoming videos? Please let me know in comment section below. If you go to mbzmaster.com You can find my tutorials, guides, reviews and if you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook.